degrees out today, but we're filming reindeer, so we, we had to don yeah. our... Yes, you gotta look the part. <laughs> uh, welcome, this is our first, we're gonna, I don't know what we're gonna call them yet, something like advanced tutorials, but this is our first, um, we're gonna make reindeer, and they're going to be available on DVD or by digital download on our website. And I'm going to take a few minutes to go over um, what you're going to need, and then we will go from there. Are you ready? You want to you want to help me explain the wools and everything that we need? I don't. No, you do it. Okay, I'll do it. You're you're very jingly. It's a little annoying. Sorry. <laughs> um, so this is intended for those of you who have done a few other things, are familiar with needle felting and the terms that we use and working with fibers and wool, um, maybe um, have had some experience building armatures and wrapping um, because I'm going to assume that you know all those things as we film this um, tutorial and uh, not explain all those things from the beginning. We have many, many videos out there um, explaining all of these things and little smaller projects um, if that's where uh, you need to start. You can do that. Um, let's see. Uh, we are going to use lots of things. Reindeers have a um, huge range of colors. And rather than create a supply pack, we're going to give you a sort of guideline list of what you need. I meant to weigh the reindeer so that we had an overall... Um, hey, Jennifer. Yes, dear. Ooh, <laughs> are you near the scale? to use the off-white is the least expensive because it's not dyed and it's natural. Um, it's one of my favorite core wools. But then when we get into wrapping the the legs and head, yeah. Are you ready for yeah. incoming? Okay. Dancer, prancer, vixen. Oh, so oh, they were just made to fly. <laughs> 3.25. 3.25. Good to know. Thank you. You're welcome. Um, when we get into, I'm sorry Milo. I can't. <laughs> <laughs> um, into the legs and some of the face shapes, you're going to want a brown core wool. It could be any of the brown core wools. I'm going to use, um, this is teddy bear brown, teddy bear brown or spice or um, any of the, the warm brown would work well. So we start with, you know, just build wrapping, basically, the armature. Um, then we need I always pretty much for every project need the solid black and bright white. Um, black will be for hooves and eyes and white might, you might choose to use white on the belly. I think I did um, off white or oatmeal on this belly. Um, dots on the eyes are bright white. Blending on the neck could use some white. For the pelt, um, oh my gosh, they come in so many colors. So I have on hand here some top coat chestnut, and then I'm going to blend with, this is the seal point, which I'm also going to use as um, the color on the legs. And then, I mean, any, any of the merino, we have a beautiful patina merino, you could blend into the pelt. So you'll need those, that mix of like deep brown to golden brown top coat colors. For the antlers, I'm using uh, sandstone. It's a nice, it's one of the top coat fibers. It's nice and long and thin, so it makes it really easy um, to do all, all that wrapping that you have to do on the antlers. And you can use it as a blender in your pelt as well. This is oatmeal. Core, this is really a great blender because it just goes from white to tan. This is one of my favorite things to use for white to tan. And that does happen on his neck. Um, and let's see, what else do we have here? Natural black, I just like to have, it's, it's a softer black. If you ever do want to go deeper in color, I like it better than a dyed black. 
uh, especially in the pelt or on the face. That's a lot yeah. of information. You need, you need needles. Yes, you need a felting surface and needles. Punch the pen tool is handy because it just will save you time. Um, the punch tool is nice when you're working flat or doing finishing work. It's got five fine needles and it just um, felts, pelts, felts, pelts very easily. I also have a couple of, um, oh, let's see, I've got my, my pliers, my little scissors. Needle nose pliers are, are handy for making armatures because they've got the cutter and um, when we're bending wire, you might need to use it. So that brings us to wire. Um, we're going to use the 14 gauge. This armature gets a double wrap on the leg, so the 14 gauge is plenty. It makes it nice and nice and sturdy. Um, this is about, I guess it's about six inches tall at the shoulders, five or six inches tall. So, and then the wires are cut to um, four pieces. One will be the head and um, neck and front legs, and that one should be 28 inches. Let's see what we got here. That's this one. And then one will be the back and hind legs, and that one should be 31 inches. And then you need two wires cut at 18 inches, and those are the ones that are going to create the second wrap down each of the of the four legs. One goes over the front shoulders and one goes over the, um, the hind legs and they wrap together, but I'll show you that. But those are the lengths on your wire. Um, 28, 31, and two at 18. You also need pipe cleaners. Um, you're gonna need at least, let's see, one, two, six, like, to have a dozen um, because between the body, the legs, and the antlers, it's, this project takes quite a few um, pipe cleaners. And I didn't get one out, but you also need, um, you can use pipe cleaners, but I like to use this 22 gauge wire. Uh, we have it in, I'm using brown here, but we have it in white. If you have one of those, that's totally fine because white will blend with the tan as well. And I like it because it's longer. Pipe cleaners are 12 inches. These 22 gauge wires are 18 inches. And it gives you a longer antler and it gives you a little bit of a stronger base. Um, and then from this wire, we start building the rest of the, the points of the antler uh, with pipe cleaners. Curls. <laughs> I forgot curls. You need some longer white fiber. It doesn't have to be curls. You can use um, high luster white. You could even use some of the white um, top coat, but this is the area we're talking about here on their necks. Um, the curls look really cute. It just gives it another dimension. And sometimes I even build them into the, into the pelt as well, the sides. So um, Surrey, off-white Surrey works well. I'm going to use um, Luster Long Wool, we call it Santa Beard on the Etsy site. So I'm really excited to get started and ha we're happy to help you with anything that you guys might need for the project. And um, can you think of anything else, Milo? I'm afraid I'm forgetting something. Well, not, not that, but I got a joke. Okay. Hit me. <laughs> uh, I can't. What do reindeer say before telling you a joke? I hope it flies. That, that's good. <laughs> no. I could write jokes. Yes. <laughs> Be careful. This one will slay you. <laughs> it did. It yeah. Just bowled me over. Yes. With hilarity. Yes. There's more to come, people. <laughs> So, um, enjoy the process. I uh, hope you guys learn something along the way and end up with a reindeer that you love. But um, we're going to move 
to over the shoulder angles so that you can see what I'm doing and get started. Okay. Okay.